Welcome back to the Brainmaker YouTube channel. Still cold, still in the garage. Gotta make stuff. Like today, making a magnetic bottle opener. That's a mess I have to clean up now. Let's make it. To get started with this one, we're gonna use just a piece of scrap. This is walnut that I had from a different project. That's got some neat grain on it. So I think what we're gonna do is cut it down to probably about four inches wide where this cool grain is happening. And then I'll decide the length after I get it cut down to width, but it'll probably end up somewhere around eight inches or so. For this, I think this knot is gonna be okay. I think it's gonna just add some cool texture to it when it's all done. So I think I'm going to leave this at the bottom because the top of it's going to be covered up by the bottle of our hardware. And going up is when the grain starts to get back to its boring, well it's walnut so it's pretty anyway, but once you get finished on there. But going up is when you get away from all this neat kind of uh, curly texture that's going on here. So yeah, first we'll cut it down four inches, have the knot about center in there, and then we'll decide what to do from there. We got this down to this. So it's four inches wide, just a hair over ten inches long. The length doesn't matter so much. I mean, you don't want it super long and you don't want it super short. Just end goal is to have this stuck on a fridge with magnets. I'd have a bottle opener up here and a magnet recessed back here to catch the bottle caps. So as long as it looks okay, it's fine. You don't even have to go with a rectangle. I mean, this is easiest. But if you want to make some weird shape, go for it. It's your bottle opener. Do whatever you want. I'm going with a rectangle just because it's easier. Just to get the core like, concept of the item, the thing, done. So now that we got it this shape, before we do any sanding or anything like that, we're going to flip it over to the back side. Drill two holes up here to recess magnets for sticking it to the fridge. And then we're going to route a channel down here for a longer magnet and this one we're going to route it out so that it's just about an eighth of an inch behind the wood on the front so that or I don't remember which side is the front now not important but the important thing is this magnet about an eighth of an inch behind the wood here so that when crack bottle open, bottle cap falls and then gets sucked into the wood here and then it stays there so you don't have to go looking around the floor and try to catch the bottle cap as it comes off. So let's do that. So I drilled a hole that's about the same size as the router bit I'm going to use, which is big enough for the magnet I'm using so that I can use the router to route out the slot for that magnet. So I drilled the hole at the end of the slot towards the bottom of the board so that I can bring it over to the router table and put this down on the router bit and then feed it this way over the bit. Now, the trick there is knowing where to stop. So first, I have this, I will drop 
this onto the bit and move the fins up to make sure that I'm going to route a straight hole. So, tighten down the fence. And now, with this on here, I've already marked here where it starts. So then I'll come over here and I've got this set up as a stop block. And now I can take this off, use my magnet, because I know I need the slot to be at least as long as my magnet. So I put my magnet here where this starts, and then, so I've got my magnet where it starts, but since this leaves round corners, I know these corners are sharper than that, so I need it to be a little longer. So I'm going to scoop my magnet down just a bit. The amount is pretty arbitrary, just make sure it looks like it's long enough. I normally go with like half an inch just to be safe, that might be a little much, but oh well. And then I can put my board up against the magnet, bring the stop block over, and tighten this down. So now, picture this on the router bit, but if I start here, where this is lined up with the bit, and go all the way to the stop block, like that, it'll be plenty long enough for my magnet. And then I've got my adjustable square thingy set up. First I just put it on here to find the thickness of the board and then I backed it off an eighth of an inch so that as I'm routing, I'm gonna do this in multiple passes so it's not a huge drain on the router bit, but as I'm routing, I can use this and I know I don't want the router bit to be any deeper than this into the wood. If I do, I risk routing all the way through, which ruins the whole thing. So we don't wanna do that. So now it's all set up, it's just a matter of getting it done. Is prepared. Yeah, I went quite a bit longer here than I needed to. Probably almost an inch longer than I needed to, but again, really not that big a deal because I just need the magnet to fit in there. So uh, it might mean I waste a little more epoxy when I epoxy that magnet in there than I need to, but eh, it, it's it's fine. It's five minute epoxy. It's not that expensive, but. Uh, these will get screwed in there in a pocket. I'll put a little epoxy just to help Because uh, chances are I'll have too much for just down here So I put the extra up here just because it doesn't hurt anything uh, The important thing here is that Now that magnet is just below the surface of the wood So if you have a bottle cap dropping down It catches and it catches. If you can catch a wrench you can catch a bottle no cap Get it like, from dodgeball you get it. Okay, so now we've got those installed. We've got that epoxied in there. The epoxy is set enough that it's not gonna move around. It's still a little tacky, but it's recessed down in there, so it's fine. So now, that's just a few more steps to the finish line on this one. So we're gonna sand it up to 220, put some cork on the back, and then put finish on it and then install the actual bottle opener part.
there it is. Magnets there, bottle caps are there. So you open a bottle, it drops, gets caught. It works if there's no bottle caps there yet. Ta-da! And one mistake I made when I put the finish on, I put finish on the back, which just made it stupid to apply the cork because the finish that I used was Howard's orange oil finish with beeswax and stuff and the wax in it I think made the adhesive not want to stick so I had to sand the back of it real good after the finish dried a bit so that I could get all that off so I could actually get the cork to stick but it's stuck on there now so pro tip don't finish the back side I normally don't but I did this time because I are dumb but it works. Magnets in the back work. So you can hang it wherever you want it. Open bottles with it. And then just see how many bottle caps you can catch on there. Go for a new high score. I don't currently have a high score because I haven't kept her. Let's just say it's 24. That seems like a lot. Oh well. But, rather simple project. Again, start with any size wood that you want for it and Use whatever tool works best for you. The most advanced part, I would say, would be routing the back for the magnet back here. Now you can just skip that part if you want. There's plenty of these that have like a little basket down here that catches the bottle cap, or nothing at all to catch the bottle cap, and then you just pick it up as you go. Uh, but I think these are neat, and it's just kind of a fun little quirk that they have to them. So, pretty basic build, and... I hope you make one. If you do, share it with me on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter or whatever. I'm at Bear Make It on all of those. Um, I like seeing things make based off stuff I do. It just kind of gives more value to the work that I do in the videos I put out and make you know, people actually watch them. So, cool. Be sure to like the video if you liked it. Share it with people who you think might like it. That really helps a lot and subscribe so you see videos that I put out in the future. I've already done more videos this month than I did in like the last three months of last year. So I'm, I don't know if that pace is gonna keep going, but I don't know, I'm trying to find some easier builds to do that I can show just to kind of get people started with making stuff. And something like this, most people want a bottle opener, so it's a nice, simple build to do. Yeah, I think I'm rambling again, so that's how I know it's time to go. Peace out, y'all.